Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Twisty3, reporting for BGL Media here. This is a round three clash between Geelong and St. Kilda at Simmons Stadium. This is about attempt seven or eight of us actually trying to get this game going. And I swear to God, if it freezes up again, I'm going to murder someone. Um, so, we've been having so many problems with... Uh, at, at the start, it was... We, we had to get the game onto Simmons Stadium and it was just Eddie had all the time so that was uh, that was our number one problem because it was a Geelong home game even though realistically the game would be played probably at Eddie had um, so there's that and um, then we had a whole bunch of lag problems as I get the ball out of the middle here oh I had to double back it's a reasonable kick now, the only problem I find with this camera angle is that you can't, like, spot up people on the lead as easily as you'd like to. Oh, that's shocking. That's shocking. I pressed square for him to go back have a set shot. And, uh, the game has decided to kick it out of bounds. Mm. Forward press. Mark! Who's free? Andrew Reigns. Oh, I didn't even want... It's just going to end up with Jimmy Howe. 45 metres out, not much angle he's missed. It goes to the Saints. Uh, who I am playing against. Shint Kilda. Ooh, pressure. Ball goes out to Tippett. Kicks towards Schneider. Not going to get there now. I don't know how he's in the team. Oh, pressure. Throw it in. McAvoy gets a tap down, doesn't go to anyone, goes to Bartel. McAvoy picks it up, handballs to no one. Selwood gets it. There's a free bloke in the middle of the ground there, I don't know who it is. But he's all by himself, I'm not sure if you can see him, he's at the top of the screen. Oh, he's decided not to kick there, he decided to go with the longer option. All will come to Jones. Oh, just gets it off. Oh, pick it up. Someone pick it up. Oh, that was just a disastrous effort. Handball that way. Oh, damn. That was not what I intended at all. And uh, that was just a very poor piece of play, unfortunately. Very poor. Because at the moment, I'm just not taking any opportunities. Now, this is Jeremy Howe who's going to run in and kick the first goal of the game. St Kilda 1-1, 7, Geelong yet to score, 8.5 minutes left in the first quarter, which is about 2 minutes, I think, something like that, oh, there was pressure and too much of it, now I don't believe in bumping in this game, I think that that's a ridiculous rule, and there, there should be no advantage there, clearly, um, I think that bumping in this game is almost as bad as bumping, oh, another free kick. AFL uh, 2006 where every time you could just bump a player off the ball they'd fall to the ground and there was actually nothing you could do about it because the AI would just be like bump knock all your players over and um, tackling was actually a lot harder to do in that game which was actually a lot better because if your player missed the tackle they'd fall over and they would um, obviously you know, not do anything else. Now, there's a free person right here. And uh, look who it is. It's Jeremy Howe. Who... And what actually happened in that was... Uh, what was I saying? I can't remember. Yeah, when you get bumped off the ball, you could have got injured and stuff. And that was really just stupid. Out of the middle again, Del Sano. He had the shorter option, I think, of Rewalt. But it looks like Milne is going to kick a goal. I was actually trying to get that to Howe, but it didn't get there. So Milne's got one. Howe's got two. Tippett's gone into the ruck. And uh, just getting this ball out of the center. That's what I really need to start doing. Oh. Rebot's got the sit. He's putting the tackle pressure on. 
Now, I don't believe that that was a smart thing to do. Oh, goes long. How over? Almost. Maybe he would have just, like, roosted a giant leap like we all know he does. And Cooney on the wing. Mm. It's only a two-goal lead, so if I can just hold him up for this last little bit. Yeah, and I can. So that's quarter time. It's a good quarter. 13-point lead, so I've got the handy point in there. So they're going to need three goals at yeah, two goals at least to, um, you know, draw somewhat level and uh, that was a, a poor tap and now all my midfielders are not there oh gee that was a dodgy looking kick <laughs> Hayes had had good positioning able to get the spoil oh oh this is going to be tough that looked like high, yeah, and it was. Free kick Geelong. Now I'm going to sit in the goal square like I always do. And just, just tap this over. 117, Geelong, 3119, St Kilda. So close, close tight contest at the moment. Not a, not one sided affair. And that is lag. So hopefully it doesn't do that anymore. And this is Jetter on the wing. And I don't know whether he's lagging or not. Ah! Right, Dangerfield has the ball and he's AFK for a minute. So I don't know what's going on there. I'm going to have a shot. I've got no idea what's going on there. <laughs> not even close. Hopefully we're not having any more lag issues. Cause that'd just be a pain. Here we go, he's back. Oh, he's got the sit, Rewalt, and this might be advantage. And it is, and he kicks a goal. He's first of the day. Rewalt one, Milne one, two to how. Saints. Oh, the Saints with a... Uh, Point lead at the moment, 4-2 to 1-1. One, one. Geelong win the centre clearance now. Fisher couldn't pick it up. Good spoil by Dempster. Ah! Holding the man! Because of lag! I've tackled the wrong person. Impossible. Well, that's just unfortunate, I reckon. I think that's just very unfortunate. Oh, did not see that one happening. Anyway, Montagna, he's just got all the free space in the world. <laughs> I've got no idea what's happening now. This is just major lag, apparently. In connection. I think it's something to do with the servers tonight. That's a good kick. That's a very nice kick. And that's a goal. That's a 25 point lead to the Saints. Simmons Stadium here. There may be an upset brewing. Because, you know, Geelong would always win at Simmons, you'd think. Ball! Oh, oh they got the numbers here, the Cats. Menzel wants to have a shot from 50. Get on the goal line! Oh dear, that's a goal. Can't miss that, Jake. J Pod. I've dropped my microphone again. Deary me. Deary me. 19 point lead. Not long left in the second quarter. Oh. Man in front. No. Well, he's played on. I've missed the ball. Everyone seems to miss the ball. And that's just going to be another goal. Because of uh, unfortunate events. 
And it's back to 13 points. So, you know, not half bad here at the moment. Exciting stuff going on. I'm sure it'll lift in the second half. I've missed the ball again. Maybe it's my turn to start lagging. Just get it out of there. Oh, no, he's picked it up. Man, what to no one. Jetta couldn't pick it up. Now Ray gets it. Short kick. Oh, he's going to find... Who's he going to find? He's going to find Dangerfield. Who will handball over the top to Howe. Who will handball over the top to Tippett. The Coleman medalist goes in and kicks one. That's the settler against the flow of play. And this is a much better stuff from the Saints there. McAvoy with the tap. Goes to Dull. Could have kicked to Rewalt, but he was a... Poor looking kick, and Harry Taylor's got it. Now he's a left footer, so I don't know whether he's going to run on it and or not. The ball goes forward. Dalcena's going to pick it up again. Urgh, didn't go too nicely. Get it. Oh, Rewald will pick it up. Kick towards Schneider. Half time. 19 point lead to the Saints. Forty-four to twenty-five. Now, unfortunately, my last commentary I rambled for about. So I've decided to do this one live, and uh, you may get my real-time reactions. I try and. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Oh, just kick to the wing. Now I might. I have to sit. And I kept it in. Go. Oh no. Is it touched? Touch ball? Ah, Bodzi has his mark and he can probably line up from there. With the wind, the distance should not be a problem. And that's a goal. So back to 13 points. At the moment, Geelong 5-1-31, St. Kilda 7-2-44. Tap out of the rock. Was looking for Del Sano. Danger field will pick it up. Run the 55. Kick inside the 50. Looking for Tippett. Did not get him. Lonigan was good. Lonigan was very good. He kicked towards Rewald for St. Kilda. And in the front of there, Milne unfortunately didn't take the mark. Ball goes out. Spells out. Handball over the back. Milne's going to pick it up. What's he going to do with it? He's going to run in. He's going to kick a goal. That's what the Saints need right now. Just just a couple to keep keep that two and a half goal buffer. Or two to three goals, sorry. Because when it starts to get close, we'll come and they will keep coming. So, boy, oh, good tackle by the Saints. And they'll win out here. The ball goes onto the wing. Montagna. Kicks a long ball looking for Schneider. Might pick it up. That's Milne actually. Kicks in a poor direction. How and Re there. Rewalt puts a tackle on. Nothing doing. Ball goes out. Mackey didn't pick it up. Fisher left foot. Snap inside the 50. Good mark to Taylor. Harry Taylor right there. Ball went in the Del Sano direction. And another free kick for uh, Geelong. So, don't talk to me about free kicks for Geelong, because I was at the uh, Richmond-Geelong game, which was last night, um, Saturday night, because it's now Sunday when I'm playing this, and oh, Kurt Tibbet, the Coleman medalist, just going to get a little cheap goal, or oh, the current current Coleman leader, sorry, not it's not the Coleman medalist yet, there's still a bit of work to be done. And fix up some structures. So 25 points. Jones out of the middle. Kicks forward. And he finally had a bit of a chance to go over the mark. And he does now. Play on. So target rewalt gets it. Snaps inside the 50. Tip it. Handballs towards Howe. How will he kick it? He kicks a goal. And now St. Kilda double the score at the moment. 5-1-31 Geelong. 10-2-62. St. Kilda starting to get on a roll. McAvoy did not tap down to where he wanted it to go. They'll get the ball back though, the Saints. Geary, I think. Jetta kicks towards Dangerfield, who will get it from 450 right on it. He's missed. He's kicked a point. 
10-3-63-5-1-31. Kick outside the 50. Looked for Boyd, did not get it. Montagna, kick it off the ground. Only as far as, I think, Taylor. And uh, Jones, he's just been bumped onto the ground. That's, that's incredible, and that's a high tackle. Advantage pay to the Cats. Goes forward, doesn't go far enough. Montagna picks it up, kicks towards Yaron, who runs into the middle of the ground, kicks towards Tippett, who's all by himself. 35 out, not much angle. And uh, he will line up for his third, and he kicks it through. So uh, St. Kilda really getting on top now. 11-3-69 to 5-1-31. Uh, 38 point lead now. And uh, this is just going to hopefully be the beginning of the end for Geelong, from my point of view, anyway. Jones towards Tippett again for number four. And again, I've pressed square to line up for a set shot. <laughs> and it's done that to me. So, you know, Geelong, they, they shouldn't score here. And that's three-quarter time, so... I could be another two goals up, possibly, but unfortunately due to the, uh, I don't know, some probably connection problems or something. In the back, I have advantage. Give me the advantage. And <laughs> they do now. As I say, it kicks towards Jeremy Howe, who takes a nice mark, and I'm just going to wait until the the thing comes up. He will kick a goal. I think he's got three too. Now kicks his third. 12-3-75 now. 43 point lead. And this may get a little ugly for Geelong. Rewalt inside the 50. Who did he find? He finds Dangerfield. Who didn't want to kick the goal. He gave it to Howe. Who does kick the goal? He's got four. And that, that was very laggy. Very, very laggy. Hopefully this game does not lag out because it's the last quarter and I'm up by 50 points. McAvoy versus McIntosh in the rock. McIntosh wins it out. Goes to Boyd, I think. Bartel picks it up. Pressure by Dalsano. Not enough. Ball goes towards Stokes. Wilt puts on the tackle. Stokes kick finds Hodzi Adley. And he'll line up for goal. Not much angle. 20 out. Kicks a goal. Geelong 6 1 37. St. Kilda 13 3 81. 15 and a half minutes to go. Final quarter. So I think this has been a reasonably successful outing here for the Saints against uh, a competitive Geelong in the first half. Uh, oh, lag. <laughs> very, very much lag. Um. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, that's holding the ball. You know, I'm one of the few... Pl oh, wow. Well, didn't want that to come up. That, that could have been very awkward. Um, Hawkins. I'm just trying to fill up some holes. That's a very nice kick to Steve Johnson. And he'll line up for goal. And he will get it. Sneaks it through. Geelong 7 1 43, St. Kilda 13 381, 38 point lead at the moment, and uh, some connection issues as well. <laughs> so that's that's not good for either side, because we are looking for a result here, and this is not a good thing to happen. Bartel out of the middle, strolls in, and gets a push in the back, but that's advantage paid. So Podsy Adley will line up. And I don't think anything's actually working for me at the moment uh, due to this connection issue. So it's, it's only a 24-point... No, wait, no, it's not. It's a 32-point game at the moment. So I, I doubt that I can lose it from here, even with this connection. Oh, look at the Saints. They're just streaming forward. Streaming forward. Geary from 50... Oh, shock and kick. It's a point. 8 1 49. Play on, please. He's got this free man right here. He didn't find him. 
He found Tippett instead, who can line up from 55. Magnificent looking kick. It's a goal. St Kilda get another one. 14 488. Geelong 8 1 49. Nine minutes to go for water. Oh, so many things wrong or go wrong by trying to get this game. Now, I've got Jones here in the middle who's free, and I have just missed him. Completely missed him. Who's on the wing? Oh, I've got the roosting ball. Oh, look at this. They're all by themselves. Tippett. Or oh, how? Take your pick. Kurt Tippett gets it. He lines up. He kicks a goal. He's got five. And St Kilda 15 4 94. Currently, Fortin leaders over Geelong. We get the tap down only as far as Del Sano runs to the edge of the centre square, kicks towards Tippett, who's got it. And it seems like there is more lag to come. He's got another one. 16 400, 8 1 49. 51 point leaders now are the Saints. Only five minutes to go, final quarter. And this is very disappointing. Now, Jones is all by himself here. I'll try and get it to him. Did not come off the pass. So, now Dangerfield was behind his man. Looks like Wilt will pick it up. He's tackled Gilbert now under extreme pressure. Looks like Gilbert has now got the ball. Kelly played on when he shouldn't have. He got it off towards Stokes. Cross will pick it up, run in and kick a goal. There's something for the Geelong fans to smile about. 9-1, 55, Geelong. 16 for 100, St Kilda. Two minutes to go, final quarter. Out of the middle, Jetta chips over the top. Looks for Rewalt. He might still pick it up here. And he does, he kicks a goal. 17 4 106 9 1 55. 1 minute 23 seconds to go, so not much time left for either side to score here. And uh, the ball goes out to Jones, kicks inside the 50. Who does he look for? He finds Rewald, who did not want to play on, but he did anyway. And he kicked the goal. Jeez. Well, that's, that's some special stuff there by Nick Rewald. And it's now a 58-point lead. Come on, quick kick. Take a mark. And uh, that is it. That's full time. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to quickly go through the stats so I can actually get them all. Tip it with six. Pods Yadley with five. Howe with five as well. Rewalt with four. Tip it the leading disposal getter. Probably the best man on the ground. And uh, there's your quarter stats. So the last quarter, seven goals to four, 11 goals kicked in the final quarter. And just uh, here's the rest of your stats. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to BGL Media. Subscribe to my channel, which should be in the description. And I uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all later.